Hey, it's Grandma's. Are you ready for our next story in the Jesus Storybook Bible? Tonight we're on page 200, and this one is called Heaven Breaks Through. This is about the story of John the Baptist from Matthew 3, Luke 1, and John 1. So if you have your books ready, let's begin. About the same time Jesus was born, another baby was born. His name was John, and John had a special job for him. John was going to get everyone ready for Jesus. The day John was born, his dad knew God's promise to Abraham was coming true. God was sending the rescuer, and he was so happy he sang a song. Because God loves us with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love, heaven is breaking through. He is sending us light from heaven to shine on us like the light, like the sun, to shine on those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. So John grew up and well, you know, to tell you the truth, he was a bit unusual. He lived in the desert. He wore itchy, scratchy outfits made of camel hair. He had a big, big bushy beard and long, long scraggly hair. And here is the oddest thing of all. He only ate locusts, which are short for creepy, crunchy grasshoppers, which he dipped in honey to disguise the taste probably. But God sent John to tell his people something important. Stop running away from God and run to him instead. John said, you need to be rescued. I, give, I have good news. The rescuer is coming. Make your hearts ready for him. Yes, get ready because your king is coming back for you. Great crowds listened to John. They were sorry they had sinned and they wanted to stop running away from God. They wanted to be rescued. So John baptized them, which means he plunged them in and out of the water. He showed that they wanted to follow God and begin a new life. One day, John was baptizing people in the Jordan River as usual, when he looked up and saw a man walking down to the water's edge, God spoke quietly to John, this is the one. John's heart leapt. This was the moment he'd been waiting for all his life. Look, John said, as Jesus came down into the water, but his voice came out a whisper. He couldn't make it any louder. It was all he could do to even speak. The Lamb of God. God's best lamb who takes away the sins of the whole world. Will you baptize me too? Jesus asked. Who am I? John asked to baptize you. It's what God wants me to do, Jesus said. So John baptized Jesus. Suddenly, it was as if someone had drawn back curtains in a dark room as if heaven itself had opened because a beautiful light broke through the clouds and shone down on to Jesus, bathing him in gold. Beads of water glittered and sparkled like tiny diamonds in his hair. A white dove flew down and gently rested on Jesus and a voice came down from heaven. It was clear and strong and loud so everyone could hear. This is my own son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him, God said. Listen to him. Heaven had broken through. The great rescue had begun. See you tomorrow night. Grandma's loves you.